Ladies and gentlemen, animals, vegetables, and minerals, it's time for The Zoo Factor! the four corners of the earth, even though it's round and hasn't got corners, in search of the most talented creatures in the animal kingdom. We've seen the best, <laughs> the worst, <laughs> and the weirdest. <laughs> but who's got that all-important zoo factor? There can only be one winner. And remember, if you're beaten, you're probably eaten. Now it's time to meet our judges. First up, he's the jungle beast who likes to feast. It's Clive. <laughs> Next, she's the aquatic mammal who's not an underwater camel. It's Celia. And finally, he's the baboon who's a bit of a goon. It's Barry! Woo! <laughs> so, audience, are you ready? Act, are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Ooh. Ow! Then let's meet our first act. He's come all the way from Canada, and he's ready to make a lot of noise. Please welcome Gary the Grizzly. OK, so tonight I'll be doing my one beer band act for you. Originally, I was in a four-piece band, look. But the other three, um, aren't in the band anymore because of creative differences, not because I ate them. <laughs> so a one beer band it is. And I am gonna blow your socks off. If you wear socks. If you don't, I won't. Is that okay? Hey, yo, no, no way. I, I, I didn't tune up properly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheat. I knew it was too good to be true. All right. I have no musical talent at all. I'm a fake. But I want to do this so much. So, so, so much. It's my destiny. I think it might be your destiny to be my supper. You are nothing more than a massive fraud. <gasps> what were you thinking, you mango brain? I've got nothing to say to a cheat. You can talk to the tail, cos the seal ain't listening. Well, on the one hand, you cheated, which means you're rubbish. But on the other hand, your name, Gary, sounds a bit like my name, Barry. <laughs> you see? So I loved it. In summary, the monkey's an idiot and you're a terrible cheat. Get rid of him. <laughs> what a dreadful start to the show. That was flippering awful. Well, I don't care. The acts can be as bad as they like tonight. Nothing can shake my good mood. Not even if I told you the world had run out of bananas? Not even if you told me that. It hasn't, has it? No. Phew. Thank you, Bananarus, oh god of yellow bendy things. Why are you in such a good mood? Because 
of this. An invitation to the Monkey of the Year Award. And I've been nominated. I'm bound to win. Oh, when's the ceremony? Tonight, between the second and third acts. I'm playing Barry the Monkey for the first half of the show, and then second half, I'm Barry, Monkey of the Year. It's not fair. Why shouldn't I be allowed on the show just because I have absolutely no musical talent? Because it's a talent show? And because you cheated? I was not cheating. I was just being illegally ambitious. I'm not sticking around to be abused. Uh, I'm off. You're not allowed to leave until the show is over, I'm afraid. Oh, and Clive wanted you to have this. What is it? Tomato ketchup. He'd like you to pour it over yourself so you taste nicer when he eats you. Oh. Well, that's a disappointed but very naughty bear. But he's just one of the many acts who auditioned for tonight. So let's take a look at some of the ones who didn't quite make it. Please welcome to the stage our second spectacular Zoo Factor Act. It's a penguin! Hello. My name is Harrison A. Harris. The A stands for Harrison. So my full name is Harrison Harrison Harris. By day, I run a family accounting company called Harrison Harrison Harris and Sons. But by night, I am... A tightrope walker. Sadly, I am rubbish. Still, I'm quite excited to be on the zoo factor. You can tell I'm excited because I keep doing this. Which is my second highest level of excitement out of seven carefully calibrated levels. You'll know when I'm at my highest level of excitement because I go up a notch and do this. But usually, I never get that excited. Is that enough? Good. Can I have absolute silence, please? <laughs> Actually, that's really disconcerting. Can I have a bit of noise, please? Yes, that's nice. Thank you. Blimey! Personal best! Scared of heights. Scared of ropes. Hang on, Mac. Sounds like we've got a code 15B on our hands. Right, yeah. Fish trapped with the radiators again. No, that's a 15C. A 15B is mysterious package at stage door. Oh, yeah. Let's go! Ooh! I am quite excited. Well, I am astounded. That was absolutely wrong. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, it was so good, I'm going to... That's <laughs> all right, that was a good happy roar. Celia? Well, you get a major flippers up and a tear away. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man, that was well sick. But you ain't no monkey of the year. Now, if we're all done here, I'm going to go and collect my award. Ladies, losers! <gasps> what, what a, a total, total mango! 
Right, let's have a little look-see. <laughs> Blimey, an egg. What are we going to do with that? Gentlemen, allow me to help, for I am Professor Albumen, the world's leading eggologist. What a stroke of luck you turning up at this precise time. Isn't it just? Now, if I can examine the egg... Yes, as I thought. The best thing for this egg is if I take it onto the stage and sing it a song. Whatever you think is best, Professor. Hang on a second. You're not Professor Albumen. You're Terry the Terrapin. Oh. Uh, maybe. You are going out. Oh, come on. Please, let me do my song. No, on jam, Mac. Righto. Marmalade. Lemon curd. Jam! <laughs> And you turkeys can stop playing dustbin tennis. Now, Mac, we've got an egg. You know what that means? Scrambled egg for tea? No, Mac. It means we must nurture it, keep it warm and safe, help it hatch and then feed it, love it, teach it the way of the birds, until it's old enough to leave home and forge its own way in life, at which point we'll feel satisfied, yet strangely broken-hearted. How are we going to do that? I'll show you. I feel ridiculous. But you look like a mummy bird, and that's the important thing. Another worm? Hmm, not really. Go on, have another one. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Will she make it on stage, or will it all be too much for her? Yes, she's sweet, she's scared. It's the Bush Baby. The Bush Baby! The, the Bush, Bush Baby! baby. so much for this award. I'd just like to say all the other monkeys in the world are losers! Losers! I'm here to claim my prize! <laughs> no! <laughs> now it's time for our next act. Please welcome the incredibly brave, but possibly mad, Fishikaze! For the honor of fish kind, I will now turn myself into delicious sushi. Cut about the other acts. That was razor sharp and delicious. Well done. On the one flipper, that was brave and spectacular. On the other flipper, you're now in pieces, you guava-brained mango. But overall, very tasty. Yeah, great, whatever. Woohoo! Aren't you clever? Something wrong, Monkey of the Year? There was no one there. Just a bucket of muck. Unless that was the trophy. No, that's unlikely. So you're not Monkey of the Year? No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What? What's so funny? I can't believe you fell for it. Fell for what? <laughs> Look at your invitation again. Don't you recognise the poor writing? And <gasps> the flipper spelling. You two did it. You two. I don't believe it. I hate you. I hate you both. Don't. So, are you pleased with how it went? The crowd certainly liked you. Nothing to say? Praise Hilly. I'm very tired. I must rest. Oh! Anything yet? No. Maybe your bottom's too cold. Wait a second, Mick. What? I'm going to be a mum! <gasps> oh! 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, look at the cute little birdie chick! Um, <laughs> Mac, that's no bird. 
Give mummy a kiss. No, don't do that. Oh, oh fat baby. Fat baby. Oh, fat baby. Oh. Now, will you please welcome our final great act tonight? It's Denise the Drum Majorette. Hello. I'm very excited to be here on the Zoo Factor with my class friend, Susan. And together, we are going to show everyone that we have the Zoo Factor with our great baton swirling act. Anyway, it's going to be ice. <laughs> That's it. Celia? You are a major majorette talent. <gasps> and what's more, you remind me of me when I started out in showbiz. Apart from you being a leopard snake Ooh. combo and me being a seal. <laughs> but basically, the lippers up. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I just remembered. I'm meant to be in a bad mood. Uh, it was all right, I spun. <laughs> to sum up? Great stuff. What an evening it's been, but there can only be one winner, so let's remind ourselves of all of our great acts tonight. The judges are conferring. It's a heated debate. Meanwhile, the acts are waiting nervously. But I think we have a decision. It was a tough one. So many good acts tonight and one rubbish act, the cheating bear. Hey! But eventually we decided the winner is... Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. Are you excited? A bit. Whoa! Hang on. It's just sunk in. Whoa! <laughs> I've also chosen my supper. It's going to be spaghetti baronets. No! Oh dear, that's one unhappy bear. But let's hear it again for Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. <coughs> oh, sorry. I ate the bear's MP3 player as well, and it must have been on repeat. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I thought tonight was an excellent show. <laughs> <laughs> Still sulking, Barry? No. Oh, come on, cheer up. We're sorry. It was a rotten trick, but we've got you a present to <gasps> cheer you up. What present? I got you some bananas. And I got you some nuts. Really? Mm. Wow, thanks. Where are they? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Coming up next time on The Zoo Factor. Don't miss it, but until then, don't be a mango in it. <laughs> <laughs>